Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Card of Code Wars on the Binary Life. If you are new to the channel, Binary Life is a YouTube channel that teaches new developers how to code by solving algorithms. And uh, you can see how the thinking process goes on and how we come about the solution. So we're going to be solving the, how to create a phone number in JavaScript using this coding challenge. So basically, it says we are giving um an array of 10 integers like this and we have to create we have to transform it into a number phone number of this format um let me try to increase the font so that you can see all right so this is this is the numbers here it's a 10 digit and our phone number it will return a string like this grouped into three pairs into threes threes and fours separated by uh some parentheses and some hyphens so how do we do that so um this algorithm is very simple um we are going to learn how to use a javascript function called splice which will be very instrumental for this algorithm now i've googled already um splice documentation on the stack overflows it looks like this splice can be used to insert or to add things to array at very specific positions um let's try to read it so the um array.splice uh will insert this item here the third parameter will insert into array at a specific index now let's just practice it so that you can see i'll come to my console and enter the node the node or app and um i'm going to create an array made up of uh, some digits like one two three and six so if i say array dot splice at the uh, index two at index 2 we have 3 so if i say at index 2 and i say uh, 1 what do we have array becomes this 1 to 6 so what this did was that it came at index 2 here where we have this 3 here and remove one integer so it actually removed the 3 itself that's why we are left with 1 to 6 if i had said remove 2 it would have removed 3 and 6 so that's what splice does now our new array is this one two one six so if i come to array i splice again and uh which uh number is at index two here it's six um, i'll try to insert back our three that was lost there so i'm going to say at index two remove zero items but add the number three let me add it in a string format so that you can see the difference very very clearly but we can add even the integer format what does array become it becomes like this this means go to index two of the array and while removing zero objects add three so it's going to push the other objects ahead and add three so it means we can add and subtract at the same time if you want well i'll stop at that and now let's how do i bring the concept into this um coding challenge create phone number let me just copy this comment section here i want to put it into a comment section here and go to full screen so that we can see the code what is this okay it's good i had some bug on my screen oh come on Shit. 
okay we have this All right so um okay i'll just paste this comment here so that we can have the format inside and i'm going to increase the font that's too big okay i think this is better so i am going to if you look at after the first three numbers there is a bracket and uh, a space so i'm going to insert that with splice so i'm going to say numbers uh dot splice at index uh, zero one two three so it's going to replace where this four is which is index three so at index three without removing anything i'm going to insert this um closing parenthesis and a space i'm going to insert a closing parenthesis and a space that's it when i do that uh presently four is at which index four is at zero one two three when i do that uh, four is going to move to index four actually so this will become index four five six and at index seven here we're going to insert this uh dash here the hyphen <coughs> So I'm going to say numbers dot splice at index seven without removing anything. I am going to insert this. At this point, we can just print numbers so that you can see what it looks like. Also, dot lock uh, numbers. all right i'll come out of the of the full screen and let me just test this now this is what we get uh, i can just print it and join so that we can see it as a full string all right it looks like this i think we're approaching this the scenario so this first one adds the closing bracket and the space here and this one adds the hyphen so we are left with the with the opening brackets here before one two three so i'm going to add that how do i do that let's go back to full time screen come on it's just bergen i don't know why let's just come back okay that's it and let's increase the font right so we said it's just left with the opening bracket so i'm going to concatenate that that is i'm going to return the opening bracket plus whatever we had up here something like that I'll just return it at once and let me just make the code compact. Right, and then we can now uh, return stuff. We can now run the code and see. All right, we have a pass. I can attempt. And let's submit to see what other people have.
right this is what we have guys well he has decided to use our uh, substrings so he takes uh, the different bunches the different uh, groups of digits in the form of substrings and concatenates the different parts I think this is very easy to understand so this is great um what is this format that replace all right so he has created a definite format and uh represented by x and then he loops through the numbers the 10 digits and replace each x this is actually very intelligent definitely need to check the format the replace you replace every x with this is crazy crazy <laughs> this is very clever actually you can see he's voted most clever than this one because it's not very intuitive this is cool this is great now this is a use of regular expression not too easy to understand i don't know if you understand it but i'd rather stick with the simple simple approach here but i think it looks like the one up here because we have um a defined format yeah one two three and uh we have three dots here which is replaced by the first three numbers of the array and then here the first the next three numbers of the array and then the star the rest of the numbers crazy This is a lot of computation. This is crazy. <laughs> Damn, a lot of it else. I don't even need to look at that. This is too heavy computing. I think that's why there's a lot of comments. People are super shocked. Uh, this is like the format, the format approach. Replace this is regular expression. Looks like. This is like slice. This is like the sub the substring approach up there. It's the same approach. Uh replace this like the format. I think it looks like we are the other people that use splice. Well, I'm going to stop here, ladies and gentlemen. I think you can see that um we have the splice that we use and uh well this is one <laughs> this is crazy. This is actually one of the simplest way to do that. You just take every index and align them and concatenate since there are just 10 digits this is very easy to do so we cannot complain about that this is actually very simple to do uh so we have this approach we have the splice we did we have the regex for those who want to try i think the substring on is practically one of the simplest approach too Alright guys, thank you for viewing and see you on the next video for another coding challenge.